Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. Um, I've had a few of my site visitors and forum members have asked me about menus, WordPress menus, and how to uh, customize menus. It's really simple in WordPress. Word, the WordPress menu uh, system is very, very good. So uh, I'll show you how to do that. Just log into your WordPress dashboard. And, and here we are here. First of all, create a new menu. So we'll just put uh, test menu as the name and uh, click on create menu. Uh, <coughs> okay, so here we are here. Um, you can have primary or with this theme, this is the, uh, the Genesis theme uh, by Studio Press. So you can have uh, primary and secondary menu. So uh, primary menu will make uh, test menu. So we'll save that. So this will be the menu at the top of the top of the site. Um, now what you can do is you can add different tabs in so it looks like a normal menu. And there's several different ways you can do it. You can add in um, URLs and just put the name for the tab. So we can have uh, just just as an example, I'll just put say WordPress, um, and you can just add the URL. I'll just put my URL. As a, just as a test and add that to menu so you can you can link um, and here we go here so the first tab is called WordPress and that links back to the site um, it's, you wouldn't do that in reality but uh, this is this is this is the way to just add them uh, manually you can add uh, categories in there you can add different blog posts so if you want to take one particular blog post you can you can just put in the URL here, and you can name it whatever you like. Just make sure you name it with a keyword that's uh, that's appropriate, that's related to the content, and that'll help your SEO. So so the WordPress menu is so easy to use, and it really is a great tool. It's uh, it's better than any premium WordPress theme menu on the market. So they've done a great job with the WordPress menu, WordPress themselves. Now you can simply add pages here, if you've already added pages you can just select which ones you want to add and you just click here and click on add to the menu and they'll just be included, you can just see they've just been added there now and you can change the name of them if you like, you just go in here and change the name so, uh, so it's really easy um, what have we got here you know, you can change with with the ones you add by URL. You can simply change the URL too. So, so that's really really good. It's really really easy. And just make sure you save that every time you uh, you do a bit of work on it, just in case. Um, and you can add categories as well. Um, you know, view all categories. You can add uh, as many categories as you like to to your menu as well. So. So the WordPress menu, and here we go, we've already made the menu, it's just so easy to use, it's really, really easy, it's a fantastic tool, and I've actually made about four different menus, I, I don't just have my primary menu at the top of my site, I also have uh, two or three menus at, in, in my footer, so so this is a tool you use to make menus for your footer as well, and, I, and I'll show you them now, I'll just go back into my site. Um, just down the bottom here you can see I've got popular pages, popular categories, popular this week. So people like to know what's been popular for the week, uh, what are the popular posts and, and pages. And I've just, all these uh, these three columns here are, are actually custom made uh, WordPress menus that I just showed you how to do just then. So it's, it's, it's really easy and I can change these really, really easy as well. Um, you can use plugins to tell you what's been popular for the week and popular for the day and I use them as well but I don't think there's one for popular categories and popular pages so I know what is popular and I've, I've just made WordPress menus uh, in the WordPress dashboard so it's it's really really easy it's uh, I'll click on save and I'll just show you uh, show you how this looks now so here's uh, here's a menu that's been designed before and uh, this one's got drop downs, so you can easily add drop downs here as well. I'll, I'll show you how to do that in the next video. So, uh, so it's very, very sim simple to play around with the menus, and you can add uh, a second menu here depending on your theme, and also one in the footer. That's it for WordPress menus, and uh, see you next.